All right, welcome back, guys. In this story, we're going to see how to set up a secure NiFi registry and then trying to connect it to a secure Apache NiFi. The first thing you want to do, you want to navigate to the registry website and we're going to download the registry binaries. Click on the link, copy the download link, open your terminal and we're going to navigate to CDOPT running the widget command and download binary. After the download is complete, let's go ahead and unzip the, so we unzip the NiFi registry. Let's navigate to it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to jump into the configuration folder and we're going to edit the NiFi registry properties. So before we edit it, let's make a copy of it and we call it old and let's jump into the registry. So for us to, for us to enable a secure NiFi registry, we have to change some of the properties. So the first property we're going to change is the HTTP port. So we're going to remove that and we're going to add the HTTPS host as in local host and our port for HTTPS is going to be 19443. You can choose whatever port you want. And then we need to change the security properties. So in the security properties, we'll provide it with the key store, the trust store, the key password and the trust password and the full path location to those key stores. If you guys don't know how to generate those, we have generated in a past tutorial and I'll put the link in the description that will show you how. All right, so I already have populated my security properties. So as you can see, I have the full path to my key store, the key store type, the key store password, the key password, the trust store full path location and the trust store type and the trust store password. All right, so with that said, we're gonna save and exit. Next thing we want to edit is the authorizer file. We want to jump into this, this authorizer file and let's see what we need to update. We have to give access to the certificate owner that we've just imported in our NiFi registry config. And that's going to be our initial user. So if you see here, the, your initial user identity has to be placed here. So let's do that. So my initial user, as you saw in our previous tutorial, when we created certificates, it's called inside byte. So we change the user group provider, and then we're going to change also the user group provider here with the same value. Add it here as well. Let's add it to our access policy provider. Let's uncomment this property and also add our user here as our 954 uh, identity one. Let's add him to our access policy provider as well as initial main identity. And that should be it. Save and exit. Great. Now we're going to start our NiFi registry. Let's go one level down, navigate to the bin directory. And here we're going to use NiFi registry.sh with the option start. If you want to review the logs and what's happening, navigate one level down and go to logs. Let's do a tail on all of them and observe the output. All right, so we can see that by registry, it's up and running this URL location. Let's open a web browser and navigate to this location. As I already have the certificate imported in my browser, I was not asked to confirm the certificate is. So you can see here that our NIFA registry has been brought up in a secure manner. The next step we will do, we're going to add a new user to our NIFI registry. And this user will be used to actually communicate with our NIFI flow. So let's go ahead here, click on the settings and navigate to the user menu. Here in the users, we see we have only one user. So what we'll do, we'll add a new user. And for this user, we will use a different CN name that it's also part of our certificate. So let's add this one. Once we have created, you want to edit this user and we want to give it read and write to manage buckets and read and write to can proxy user request. You don't have to save, you just exit. What we'll do, we'll navigate to our NiFi flow and we're going to add the registry client. We'll navigate to the menu here, go to control settings, registry client and add. And here we're going to paste, paste the URL of the registry and we're going to give it a name, registry. Great. So now we have our client registry, so we should be good to go. Next, we will add a new CN to our user list. So if I go to the menu and type users, I can see that I already have the CN localhost added. Next, we're going to assign some policies to him. So the first policy we're going to assign is retrieve site to site details. So the way you do it, click on the user button. And once you're here, 
press arrow down this is going to provide you with the leftover options if you have multiple users you will see them here as a list click on it and say add the other policy we need to add it's view the user inter interface so again here click user arrow down select the user and close going back to our nifi registry let's go ahead and create our first bucket so click on the settings and here say new bucket let's call the bucket demo and create now we have a bucket where we can store our version flows going back to our nifi we can add a new process group which is going to be empty so we're going to call it demo dg add and let's start version control of this one so if you click right on it you see that we have the version available so start version control here we select the only bucket we have and we're going to give this flow a name it would be good if this would inherit the flow name or the process group name but that's not the case give the description and my version save and you can see we get a green dot here saying yes your flow has been version if you go back to registry go back to my main page we can see that we have our first flow getting version click on it you'll get details uh, we also have the action where you can import new version fill it flow export version all right so this is a wrap on how you can integrate or set up a secure nifi registry and connect to a secure apache nifi i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and there's more to come